got passionate about graffiti, about lettering, typography. Um, and that's when I decided to really push it into more uh, the, the artistic realm. My name's Jalexia. I'm a local artist from Grand Rapids, born, born and raised. Uh, I guess the type of artist I am has been developing as, as I go. Like right now I consider myself an animator, but I think like my roots in art are definitely just traditional art, which is like painting and um, drawing and things like that. I have been an artist since I was a kid, you know, drawing and then I got into like painting and I got into music and DJing and graphics and all that kind of stuff later down the line. But yeah, it's kind of who I am as artist through and through. You know, I just was thinking about the George Floyd case and everything that was in the past year and the uh, message, I can't breathe, really resonated with me and felt like that's something that needed to be heard, something that needed to be seen again. Um, because I don't think people understand fully. Meaning behind it is I just wanted to amplify um, the Black Lives Matter movement as the best as I could. So my thought process was um, let's draw in the brown crowd as well so they can support um, Black lives as well. So I did Lotaria cards, which is like Mexican bingo. And each uh, card has a different, I guess, element to supporting Black Lives Matter. Um, like uh, protesting um, and uh, different things like that. And then at the very top, it's just big um, lettering that says Black Lives Matter that I hope people could see from very far away. The thought behind it was to convey a sense of, not comedic, but like, and not comical in the sense where it's funny, but comical in the sense where it's like, it feels like it's going to be lighthearted, but it's very sad. Cause so it's drawn in a very cartoony style, which is kind of what I prefer to do my work in but I wanted it to feel like when you look at it and actually, you know, like see some of the little details and stuff behind it, it's like the perspective is of you're looking at a black man's hands up or a black person's hands up and the little text bubbles, you know, don't move from like leaves in the blue and red meant to signify like cop lights. So like, you know, when there's a cop putting a gun at you, you're already like, you're basically already dead. I had a lot of people come up and say, thank you for, for covering up this blight. Thank you for beautifying the space. Thank you for beautifying your city. And that conversation immediately switched into, this is not a beautification. This is not here to cover a situation that happened. This is not to cover up the riots, it's to continue the conversation. I remember when I when I first showed up there, I was, I was very nervous because I had no idea what I was gonna paint. I was just like, I just, I know I have to do this. I have to use my, my skills, my platform to help amplify um, what I want to, what's going on. So um, they they told you like, it didn't have to be political. And if it wasn't, it was only certain businesses um, would, would allow uh, political things on their storefronts and things like that. And I was like, oh, I want mine to be political. I know that for sure, like it, ha it has to be. I don't know about necessarily blew me away, but I, when I was working on it, I uh, got some reactions that were just more like, kind of confused about what it was going to be until like, because I was like, you know, mid process, but like towards the end, people were looking at it and like, it got the exact response that I wanted to. Like I was, I saw somebody walk up with like their, like their, like early teens, like kids and like there were some older parents, like white parents. And they were like, oh, this is cool. And they were like looking at it for a minute and, and then like the kids were like, oh, and I'm like, yeah. It's incredible. It's, 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 it's really amazing. Like this is one of those things I feel like, you know, uh, it really makes me feel closer to Grand Rapids. I'm really grateful that this is a part of the museum, especially like with what you said with the, um, being about Black Lives Matter and uh, how people take that message and may not understand it fully. And the fact that this museum is actually taking the time to understand what the message means and appreciate it. It like, it just means the world to me that I like helped, like I'm a part of that. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah, <laughs> I definitely leveled, I'm in like the next level of my video game now. <laughs> I'm not talking to my mom about it. My mom's like, you know, She's like, and like at first I was like, yeah, I might be in a museum. She's like, that's a big deal. I'm like, 
like, I got so cool. And then she's like, no, like, look at me, like, that's a huge deal. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> this is cool. This is a celebratory thing. 